And one man is dead after Anchorage police say four of their officers shot him. It happened, as they say, they were responding to a domestic disturbance call in front of an apartment complex. Orrin Maxwell at live site near Northwood Drive and Ra Raspberry Road. Rebecca, it happened at the apartment complex behind me after what APD says is their first officer-involved shooting of the year. Now, they responded here at about 2 in the morning, and what happened next, they tell us, was captured on body camera. Anchorage police say they received an early morning call about a disturbance between a man and a woman in one of the apartments in a complex on Barefoot Drive. Before they arrived, they say the man left the apartment and was now in front of the complex carrying a long gun. Here's what police chief designee Bianca Cross says happened next. As they advanced towards the apartment complex on foot, the adult male raised the long gun towards the officers. Four officers discharged their weapons, striking the adult male once in the upper body, at least once in the upper body. I live just right over here. Raquel Nichols Cullison didn't see what happened, but she heard it. She's in the complex next to where the shooting took place, but says it sounded like it was right outside her door. I was dead asleep, and I woke up to probably like four or five, maybe even six shots. Um, and it was loud booms, um, very loud. Her sister-in-law did not hear the shots, but says her clients did. They live in an assisted living home that's less than a block away. We all started getting multiple text messages and calls from our clients just saying how concerned they were and scared. Um, this thing is definitely not something normal that happens in this area at all. Investigators spent more than 10 hours processing the scene at the roped off apartment complex. According to APD, all of the officers involved in the shooting were wearing body cameras and that video can be released once the investigation is complete. Now, as per police policy, the officers will be placed on administrative leave for the next four days, and there'll also be two separate investigations, one into whether deadly force was actually necessary, and then another into whether APD officers violated any of APD's policies. And once again, we're told that if we submit a public records request, we can get that body cam video as soon as the case is considered closed. Lauren Maxwell, Alaska's News Source.